Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today we're going to be making Condi's latest light switches. These are a full bleed metal aluminum light switch plates, and we have a double and we have a single. We're going to press the single light switch cover today since we already have our double with the image. So first, the items I brought with me today are a blank light switch cover, I have a metal insert, the image we're going to display, a green rubber pad, which I have already cut down to the size of the light switch. And this is recommended because it's going to give it a nice curve when we go to press, and I'll show you how that's going to work. Felt pad, scissors, a couple sheets of protective paper, heat tape, and I have a mug filled with water. And again, I'll show you what we're going to do with this. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our light switch cover and image, separate those out. And we're going to place our light switch cover over our image. And we're going to heat tape separately today, something a little bit different than what we normally do. We're going to actually only put the heat tape in the center piece of where the light switch will go. And the reason why we're going to do this is so that we can trim these edges nice and close and give it a, a good full bleed on all of the curves of the metal. You know what? few pieces of tape I find is easier just to have a little bit more of a secure grip on the substrate in the image itself. With my light switch plate in place, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut. And this is a, it has a nice bleed area all the way around the plate. So when we cut, we're going to cut as close as we can to the plate directly down on where our image is. So if you have to cut off just a slight portion of your image, that's okay. We're going to try to make this as snug of a cut as we can. And the reason why we're going to do that is it's going to show the full bleed the best without causing any kind of printing errors. Okay, now that we're done with the cut, I'm going to show you how we're going to use this water method. This is something that we've tested here at Condi and we find this works the best. Again, I'll make a quick reminder that if you don't have a background, like with the double here, you'll see that we have this nice blank white background. You can skip this step just because this step that we're going to do with the water is particularly good if you're going to have a full bleed with color going all the way to your edges just so that you can save some time and maybe skip that step if you don't have to. The reason why we tape the center is so that you can see that our image is still secure to the substrate, but we have all these loose corners. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put just small little slits in each corner. And this is going to help, help it follow that curvature on each corner. It doesn't have to be a very big cut. And with all my cuts, we're going to wet our fingers and we're just going to lightly go along the edges of our image, probably not even a quarter inch in, just, just enough to really get the paper to kind of mold along to the shape that we want with the light switch cover. With my last edge moist, we'll be able to set this aside for just a couple of seconds because I think one of the most important steps is to make sure that we remove this protective film. The metal insert that we're going to use, I'll show you when we go to our press why this is so important, but the actual press part of it, it does have a peel coat and if you're not careful and you press this, it can easily get stuck and melt inside your press. So this is very important that we set this aside before we move to our press. Now, we're ready to move to the press. We have several items with us today. What we're going to do first is put down our felt pad. And with our felt pad, we're going to put our green rubber pad. And like I said, we did go ahead and we trimmed this to be the exact same size as our plate. I'm going to grab my sheet of protective paper. You can still see my rubber pad through, line it up. And so when we press, when we have the pressure coming in from the top, 
the moist edges on the image itself is going to be able to curl up and with this green rubber pad being the exact same size it's going to give it a nice snug fit all around the corners and it's going to produce a nice image. Next we'll put one more sheet of protective paper and then our last step is this metal piece here. When we go and we're going to put it right in the center. The reason for this is even though it fits in the inside and you'll notice that the edges of the light switch are still taller than this piece, when we apply pressure it should flatten out. So this is going to help relieve any kind of pressure from the holes where your screws and light switch will go. So it's going to give it a nice even pressure throughout and it is a very, very important piece in this pr pressing process. 400 degrees is what I have my press set at. We're going to press for 3 minutes and 30 seconds using a heavy pressure. And that sound means we're done. So we'll lift and swing away on our press. You can see where our metal insert is still in place. Move that over. Grab our light switch cover should be very easy to peel off, especially with all the edges open. And you can see just how even every corner is. This is metal and it's very hot, so I'm going to give it several minutes to cool and we'll be able to do a nice close-up and let you take a look at those edges. Now that my light switch cover has had time to cool, you can see just how nice the edges turn out. It's got a nice bright green all the way through all the curves. It's a great full bleed for a light switch cover. And again, you can do a white background, save yourself a step. You won't have to wet the edges, and you can still produce a great product. For more products and services, be sure to visit our website at condi.com and watch more of my videos at condi.tv.com. I'm Renee with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.